Here is the 7D Mark II. I picked this up a couple months ago, and unfortunately, I really haven't used it that much. I know that seems crazy, uh, but there's been a lot of other drone stuff and camera lenses and everything else I've been testing, so I haven't really used the 7D too much. And an issue has come up now to where occasionally when you have the camera on, there's lines on the back LCD, and it's in it whether you're doing live view or reviewing photos or anything like that. So obviously, it's a defect with the camera. So I need to send the camera back to Canon. However, there's a test that I've been wanting to do, and so now I think is the perfect opportunity to do that. And that is, if you start taking photos with a camera and you just leave the shutter press and let it take photos, how many photos will it take before the shutter dies? Now, there's something called shutter count, which many of you are probably familiar with, and that's basically how many times the camera mechanism inside has actuated. So on the 7D Mark II, the rating from Canon is 200,000. So that doesn't necessarily mean it absolutely will go 200,000 photos, but it gives you a good idea that, you know, under normal use, the mechanics inside of this camera for the shutter should last a really long time. So as many of you are familiar with, the 7D Mark II has an insane frame rate, and that is 10 frames per second. And so obviously that's pretty high. And so if you just sit there, maybe at a sporting event or something like that, it's really racking up the shutter count by doing so. So I did some quick math here. And if it does 10 frames per second, that means in a minute, it does 600 pictures or 600 actuations. In an hour, 36,000. And in a day, 864,000. So theoretically, if I sit here, holding the shutter down, it will go for about five and a half hours based on the 200,000 uh, rating from Canon. So I have, uh, I'm going to be doing two things. First, I'm going to be using a regular battery pack just to see how many, if you fully charge a, a new battery pack and use it until it's completely dead, how many photos is it going to take? So for that test, I will be stopping it occasionally just to verify what the shutter count is or uh, basically what the camera says, uh, number of photos is for that battery. There does seem to be a case where if you shut the camera off at the right time uh, before the camera is able to save or remember the fact that it took you know 10 photos or 100 photos, it does not record that into the memory. I don't know if that's true or not for the 7D Mark II. However, I know on some of the older cameras it was. So I'm going to be checking that every you know, after maybe 20 minutes, I'll start checking every five minutes just to see how many photos it's taken and the off chance that the camera shuts down while it's taking photos and does not remember how many photos that it's taken. So I'm gonna be doing that. I also picked up an adapter so I can plug this in and uh, have it plugged into the wall so that way I don't have to worry about the battery and just start taking photos and see how many pictures the camera will take before it stops. And then the other thing with shutter count is I've had lots of cameras over the years. I've never had a shutter fail on me. So when the camera shutter and this does fail, I don't know what message is gonna pop up. And because the 7D Mark II is newer, it doesn't seem like there's a huge database for how long people are getting out of the shutter uh, on the camera. Now there are a couple websites that do track that and there's also a couple different applications for checking the shutter count on your camera. So that'll be here in the uh, description. So take a look at that, and obviously, if you know you feel like checking the shutter count in your camera, go ahead and do that, and you know put that info in the database. So it just gives people a good idea of how long that the shutters are actually lasting on these cameras. And lastly, I don't know when Canon does their rating for the shutters. I don't know if they sit here and do a test like I'm doing, or it's just accumulated over a couple months. But obviously, take that with a grain of salt because. I'm not sure if they count 200,000 photos as the camera just sitting there and doing that, or is it real world use? So of course in the real world, I mean, if you're just doing occasional family photos and that kind of thing for your family, you might only be taking a few hundred pictures a month. Um, but of course, if you're a professional photographer and you're doing weddings or sporting events, it's not uncommon to take thousands of photos in a day. And so that's of course a lot of work and also why it's highly suggested if you're being paid for a job, you have a backup camera or you know several backup cameras because if an issue goes wrong, like the shutter fails on your camera, you can't just quickly swap that out. Um, you're either sending it back to Canon or you're really trying a 
difficult teardown process of fixing the shutter yourself. So anyway, let's get the camera hooked up here, start taking photos and see how many that the 7D Mark II will take before I send it back in for repair and to get the back LCD fixed and also the shutter. And of course, as I mentioned before, I will be using a program that I plug the camera into the computer so that way I can check to see what the actual shutter count is. If you go off of just the memory card that gives you sort of a ballpark, but obviously that resets after a certain number, or if you go off of the battery count, that also resets, of course, when you swap batteries. So I'm gonna be plugging it into the computer so that way we can get the exact shutter count, just like how many of you are already checking the shutter count on your cameras. All right, so here is the camera itself. I've got the remote hooked up, which I'm then going to be using to take photos. And you can see here that it does show this is with the battery at 100%. Now it shows 98 on there, but I literally just pulled it off the charger and it was green. This battery has a manufacturing date of September. So the battery is not quite a year old yet. And I've had a few use cycles on it and so it should be providing full capacity and of course you see on there that it shows the recharge performance as three bars so it shows right now that we are at zero for the shutter count and then of course when we take photos we'll be able to go back to that and see that it is counting the photos so the first test here is just a, going to be uh, how long the OEM Canon battery will last if you just sit there and take photos. So let's get that knocked out and then we'll figure out, of course, just how many pictures this camera is going to take before the shutter fails and when it fails, what happens, what does the error look like? Because I've never seen it. Obviously, I've heard people talk about it, but I've never seen it myself. So you can see, of course, I got the remote and I didn't want to use up my batteries in the remote, so I just have the trigger being pressed by a little clamp. So you can see that on there. And of course, fed up to the 7D Mark II. So quick update here, and the battery is at 77% with 7,651 photos. Of course, this isn't completely honest because it's not saving any of the photos so it's very possible that the battery life would have been used up more if it was trying to save these photos as well but at least you know if you sit there and take a bunch of photos how many it will go to time for another update so as you can see we are at 32 percent on the battery with 24,205 uh, actuations on the shutter mechanism. So one thing I didn't think about, which was kind of dumb, is that this is going to cause the camera to heat up. So let me, I've got a, a little temperature gauge right here. So I'm gonna do a couple different shots on here. And then I'm also going to do one on the ADD that I've been using for some of the video clips here. And then that way you can see what the camera temperatures and ambient would be and then after taking 24,205 photos in a row. All right, so to start off with, I'm gonna do a couple of different spots on the back and then we'll directly compare it to the ADD. So on the 7D, just in the middle of the LCD screen, we're getting 105.6. Okay, so not too bad, but definitely warm. So let's take a look here at the ADD right in the middle of the screen and we're only 80.4 so quite a big big difference there but still nothing seems out of the norm here especially i mean if you're sitting there uh, in the sun or whatever else the camera bodies and lenses can get pretty hot so now let's try it here on the left side so we'll press there 101.3 on the side here and this is all of course in fahrenheit and on the add 79.9 so now back over to the 7D, go for like the, the grip area right here. And that is 110.2. And moving over to the ADD, and that should be pretty consistent, 79.8, perfect. So now let's try some stuff on the top here. The camera flash will go the front part here. And that's at 95.2. And moving over to the ADD, 
that's at 79.6. So again, pretty consistent. Looks like ambient temps in the room are close to 80 degrees. So now what I'm really interested in is what does the shutter and the mirror temperatures look like? So hit that, 102, 106. So that's 102 and 106 right here. And on the 80D, again, that should be pretty much close to 80 and 79.9 and 80.4. So now let's go ahead and try to get some shots in here. So first I'll try to do like the inside area right here or right here and the same thing on the ADD. So get in there, 116.8 and 79.8. So pretty normal and what I would expect. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the mirror itself and that is 120.4 degrees, while the ADD is at 79.8, which is basically expected based on the other ambient temps on the camera. So now let me flip the mirror up and then that way we can take a look inside and find out what those temperatures are. And I've got the mirror lockup set to on right now, so that way we can actually see in there. And let me take that temperature. 126.3, let me do that again just to make sure. 127, so pretty warm in there. And of course with the ADD, I'm thinking it should be right there, right on 80 degrees. So again, this is definitely heating up, but considering it's taken 20,000 photos, pretty good here. And again, we're still on battery power, so as soon as the battery dies, I'll have an idea of how many pictures straight you could take with these. Obviously, this number is a little bit higher because I'm not saving any of these images, but it gives you a good idea of if you just sit there and press the shutter button, how long will it go for? So let's keep going with the test and I'll report back in a little bit. One interesting thing that I did wanna point out here is that although I've got the AC power hooked up here and that plugs into the wall right there, the camera is still reporting a certain percentage and everything for the battery. So it'll be interesting to see what happens as we take more photos and as time goes on. This is an adapter from Amazon. I'll have the link down in the bottom because I know a lot of people sometimes are looking for camera adapter adapters for the LPE6 uh, cameras, which is like the 7D, the 72, the 5D Mark III and others, the 80D, 70D. So any of those basically. So this power adapter does work. The camera did even give an error and so it looks like everything's good. So take some photos here and jump back into that battery menu and it's still showing the percentage and everything so it'll be interesting to see just what it says after it takes a thousand, ten thousand, thirty thousand more photos. So let's get going on this test and again find out just how long this shutter is going to last in the 7D Mark II. Still chugging along taking lots of photos, camera still feels warm, it doesn't really feel any warmer than before. Interestingly, when you go check the battery info, it shows 72%. We've taken 38,000 photos since I've recently switched over to the AC power. But that's what's funny is now that we're hooked up to the AC power, it still shows remaining capacity 72%, even though I'm plugged in to the wall. So I'm curious to see what happens when it hits zero, if it does anything or triggers something for the camera to say, hey, this is weird, but just a interesting find. But otherwise, we're gonna keep going here and it should be well over 50,000 now. Back again for another update here. This time, the supposed remaining battery power of the wall outlet connection is 59% and we are now at 87,000 for the shutter count since I switched over to running it off of AC. So I just came in to check on the camera and ironically when I got to battery info it says 99,999. So I don't actually know if I stopped it right at that number or if for one battery that's the highest number it will get to. So I'm going to take up one more picture here. Let me change it to single shooting okay and go back so apparently if you have a battery in it the shutter count will stop counting at 
99,999 basically, so it won't go over 100,000, which is completely insane because the battery normally would never last anywhere near that. So let me see if I can reset this by pulling out the cord and get our shutter count going again. I turned the camera off, I pulled the battery out and turned the camera back on and oddly, the shutter count now shows as 36,218 for this battery. And it still shows that the battery is you know, lower than before, so that didn't completely reset it. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but some sort of a weird error where, okay, so we're at 36,000. And let me take a look here. So battery info shows that. We'll go ahead and turn it off. I will then pull the battery out. You can see the wire connected on there. Put that back in there. Turn the camera back on. Okay. Go to menu, battery info. So oddly enough, for some reason, when you reset it, or when you pull the battery out, at least if it starts at 99,999, it doesn't completely start over from zero again. So kind of weird, but that's okay. It should still be saving the overall shutter count once I pull that up and check on the computer. And the testing continues. And again, the battery shutter count didn't quite fully reset when I unplugged it from 99,999. So right now it's reading at 60,270 with 57% left. So it doesn't look like the battery percentage has dropped much. Let's run EOS uh, count right here, or free shutter counter. Let's go ahead and, and hit get shutter count, 139,145. So definitely getting up there, but still not up to the 200 uh, estimated mark from Canon. So we're gonna keep going and see if we hit the 200,000 mark. And if we do, how much higher will the 7D Mark II go over that? Here we are back again, and I figured out how to get this reset to zero. I basically followed the AC cord here and I unplugged it after taking the pack out of the camera. So I don't know if you need to take the pack out of the camera or just the act of unplugging this and it losing power basically resets it. But after I did that, the shutter count went back to zero. And let's see, and looks like we're back in business again. So now it's starting over from zero. Let me take a look. We'll get the shutter count repopulated here. 194,000. So we are getting close to the uh, estimated number of shutter actions that the camera can take from Canon. So the Canon or the camera has been doing great so far, but we'll see how it it continues to do as we continue this camera abuse. So. Stay tuned, I'll check in a little bit and we'll see where we are at. Another quick update, so I noticed immediately after I finished the other video and I hit uh, start again basically on the camera, the shutter started making a slightly different sound. So let's see if it does it. Yeah, see, I don't know if you can pick that up in the sound, but it's starting to become inconsistent where it's almost slowing down. So in fact, let's turn the camera around and take a look. And just like I mentioned before, I mean, I, I literally just did the other video clip. So let me turn this camera around so that way we can see what's going on here with the shutter. It doesn't seem to be doing it, so not sure what's going on there, but I will start recording this and then that way we can see exactly what happens when the shutter does finally give up. Since I think that we might be getting close.
This looks like it might be the end of the road for the 7D Mark II. Pull up that battery info so it shows 5,427 photos were taken after I reset everything, but now there's an error that comes up when I try to take a photo. So it does look like this might have been the end of the road for the 7D Mark II. Try it one more time. Oh yeah. And there it is. So it looks like that is the end of the 7D Mark II. So let's take a look, uh, plug it into the computer here and see just how many photos you can take with the 7D Mark II before the shutter gives in if you are shooting nonstop. And just as before, we're at 5,428. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the shutter count pops up as. So again, this is running it almost nonstop with an occasional break to check to see what the numbers are. And official number comes in. Holy cow, it almost hit the 200,000 mark. 199,591. So that is pretty much right on par with what Canon has specified that this shutter will last. And it made it almost to the 200,000 mark. So crazy and insane that the camera has taken almost 200,000 photos or at least the shutter's actuated 200,000 times uh, basically all at once in one day with uh, you know sitting here on a tripod when most cameras won't even see 100,000 shutter actuations in their lifetime and this one has seen almost 200,000. All right and so the number is in the official total shutter count for the 7D Mark II test that I just did is 199,591. So that is absolutely incredible and blows my mind that this camera took that many photos today. Of course, we didn't save any of those, but just having the shutter mechanism opening and closing that many times is crazy. So just a big shout out to Canon for the Canon uh, 7D Mark II actually hitting that number that they specify that it should last. Of course, keep in mind that is really just a ballpark number. And I've seen instances where camera shutters die after 10,000 or 50,000 or 80,000. So the fact that we did this test and the camera got, you know, well within 1% of what Canon specifies this will last is incredible. So again, they specify that the Shutter on this camera is rated to 200,000 actuations. We hit 199,591. So just an absolutely incredible number for this camera to hit. And I'm excited, of course, to have done this test. It sucks that, that I had to send the camera back, but we had the issue with the LCD screen. And so I figure when in Rome, right? I mean, if one thing's broken, might as well just fully break it. Um, obviously we can't always have that thought process, but for this, it did work out and I'm excited that I got to do this test.